Empowering people to stay a step ahead in life and in business is ING's purpose today. But how did our story start? Well, for that, we have to go back to 1762, when John and Francis Baring started a bank in London. Their first big client was French statesman Napoleon, when Baring's handled the famous Louisiana Purchase between the United States and France, still considered the greatest real estate deal in history. In the Netherlands, it all started with the Rexbos Spa Bank, which was founded by the government so both rich and poor could save money safely. And when the Industrial Revolution transformed society, the Rexbos Spa Bank thrived. In the Roaring Twenties, a major financial crisis hit small banks and businesses in the Netherlands. The Dutch government stepped in to subsidize them and a new bank was born. ING's Dutch predecessor, Nederlandse Middenstaat Bank, or NMB. It served the middle classes, like craftsmen and shopkeepers. When the country was going through a reconstruction boom after the Second World War, NMB went for larger clients. The dark 1980s marked another milestone. The leading Dutch savings banks merged to form Postbank, the starting point of ING as we know it today. Six million people were banking with this new hip bank. What do you think of here, Blau? Is it good? Uh, well, uh, let me tell you. On the one hand, it's very easy. Uh, yes or no? Uh, yes. Do you recommend it? Uh, yes, I is do. Is it wonderful? Oh, yes, it Thank is. You. Right. Postbank wasn't just blue. It changed the world of payments. It introduced electronic banking and simple balance checking via phone calls. And it brought us plastic money. Ideal, hè? Een paar druk op de toetsen en weer een overboeking gedaan. Prima ontwikkeling. Mergers between insurers and banks became possible in the 90s. And the NMB Postbank Group and insurance company Nationale Nederlanden joined forces into the Internationale Nederlanden Group. The market soon abbreviated the name to ING. Iedereen mag nu zien waar de NMB voortaan naam mee gaat maken. De ING Bank. It was a time of growth and acquisitions, such as that of the British Barings Bank and Belgian Banque Bruxelles Lombard. ING shares even made their debut on the New York Stock Exchange. In 1997, ING Direct was introduced, a revolutionary branchless concept. Now active in France, Spain, Italy, Germany, Austria and Australia. And in 2007, ING decided to combine the Postbank with its Blue Lion logo with its other Dutch retail operations. Now the 7.5 million customers in ING's home market continued under the orange ING flag. When the global financial crisis shook the world a year later, ING also suffered and big strategy decisions had to be made. Through all these changes, we've kept our innovative spirit, embracing the mobile revolution to become one of the world's leading digital banks. Today, more than 51,000 ING employees offer retail and wholesale banking services to over 37 million customers in more than 40 countries. ING, empowering people since 1762.